This is coding a Shopify section with AI round two. Previously, I created a video where I made a simple section using AI. Y'all have commented asking for more advanced videos making sections using AI, and I've got another one for you today. By request, in this video, I will recreate a section from Gymshark's homepage, which showcases a sliding carousel of products. It also has a nice hover effect and arrows with a smooth scroll. And of course, it will come with customizations in the theme editor and still looks great on mobile. To do this, we are going to use a free tool called V0. You can create a free account and follow along. It will provide us with the liquid code that we can then paste into our section file. Then we'll make some customizations and we are good to go. Now I do want to point out that I wanted to make this video without editing code myself other than simple deletions. So it is not perfect and it doesn't add to cart via the variant clicked, but it still looks great and just navigates to the product page on click. I would have no problem putting this section on my store. If you have a Shopify feature that you would like to see me build, or if you want more AI tutorials like this, please like, subscribe, and drop me a comment. I appreciate you, and without further ado, let's get started. Now, the first thing that we want to do is grab a screenshot of what we want to recreate. So just head over to the website that you're looking at, take a screenshot, and then we can upload this to V0. Now, after we click Submit, we can take a minute here and it's just going to generate some code for us. It's gonna take a little while while it's thinking, but it does a pretty good job of updating us of where it's at. Now, remember it's gonna generate this code in React, so that's not what we want. This isn't gonna work if you copy and paste it, but we'll make our way there. You can also test this out. I love this little preview uh, window that you can test things and make sure it looks more or less correct, obviously without the image. So everything looks pretty good to me right here, but it's time to take this to the next step. So what I'm gonna do is go to the bottom left-hand corner and I'm gonna add a follow-up prompt. Now, everything looks pretty good, but I did notice while I was testing it that it was only scrolling to the left and right when I clicked the buttons and I would like it to use the mouse scroll as well. So what I'm gonna do is just add a prompt here and ask it politely if it will add that as well. So what I've done is I've skipped ahead from all the loading part and I'm testing it out and it looks great. I can see it scrolling sideways when I use my mouse. This is exactly what I want, so the UI looks great. Um, but it's still in that React code, so I'm gonna ask it now to do this first step of converting it to HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. But I wanna make sure I tell it to keep the exact same UI because it looks great. Now I also want to point out that in that prompt, I asked it to keep it in a single file. The reason that's important is because sometimes when it does this process, it converts the CSS, the JS, and the HTML into their own files, and then it doesn't give us the preview. So it's just a good way to ensure that I can still see this preview and test everything out before I move on to the next step. So I'm going to test it now that I have this preview. Everything looks great. It's still functional, even though it was converted from React code into this vanilla code. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask it to convert it to this liquid, which is what we actually want. So to do that, I'm just going to say, can you provide me this exact same UI in a file for liquid? And I want, it's, I'm going to tell it what it's going to do. So I want it to display um, the products of a selected collection, and it should also show the variant options when the product is hovered. So saying that I want it to have a selected collection, it's kind of telling the AI to have a setting in the theme editor where they can select a collection and that's what it's gonna display these products here. And then it's smart enough to add all these other customizations as well to the schema, which is a lifesaver. So now that it's gonna give us liquid code, this will only run in our Shopify environment. So that means we need to copy and paste it into our theme. Now quickly, I've gone back to V0, copied it, and now I pasted it in my new section file. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give a quick renaming so I can find it in the theme editor. And then after I save this file, I should be able to go back to the theme editor and then I can refresh and I should be able to add this. Okay, so after refreshing, I can go ahead and add it and it looks pretty good. I can see a couple issues already, but I'm not gonna worry about those too much yet. I'm gonna work on first assigning a collection so I can verify the images and then just kind of looking at what it provided for us. And there's a lot of pretty good customizations here. So I think the next step would be to save this and then to investigate those other couple issues. So based on what we just saw, it looks like the icons are not loading in. I can tell because those buttons are just saying like weird stuff and uh, it just doesn't look right, obviously. So if I come back to the code um, uh, without doing too much, you know, custom coding here, I'm just gonna see where the icons are and I can see that the code they gave us is referencing some assets to load those 
but that's not what I'm going to do here. Instead, I'm just going to copy and paste these SVGs directly in so that I don't have to create any, any other files or anything like that. So what I'll do is I'll just copy them from the bottom and paste them in where they're being rendered instead. Now that everything is looking good, I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh in the theme editor. I'm gonna add a uh, collection that I know has some products with variants so I can make sure that that hover effect is working. And then I'm just gonna click through and do a bunch of testing, make sure that these schema settings are working as expected, um, test in mobile, and really just verify everything looks okay. I'm gonna make sure that it links to the correct product and all that jazz. I did notice while I was testing and uh, messing around with this that I'm not thrilled with the font size for some of the variant uh, hover effect. So I wanted to open my debugger and just kind of play with the font and see what ended up looking good. Now, if you don't know how to do that, don't worry. Just go back to the code and you're really just going to look for any of the font size attributes that are in CSS. And we're just going to increase those a little bit so it looks a bit better. Overall, I'm thrilled with how this turned out. If you'd like to complete code, just click the link in the description to my GitHub. And uh, I hope that you enjoy this video and I will see you next time.